And welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about e-bike throttle only shaming. So, I'm not sure why this is, but so many get up in arms if you only throttle your e-bike. And I can tell you right now, I'm riding the Aerial Rider Grizzly and I'm throttling only. And they get worked up about what you're doing on your e-bike and why are you throttling and not pedaling? Well, the way I see it is you can do whatever you like with your e-bike. If you buy it uh, and want to throttle only, you should be able to throttle only. If you want to pedal only, you pedal only. You know, I don't understand why so many people get up in arms. And this is sometimes people that own e-bikes that only want to pedal their e-bike. And that's fine, but uh, don't be shaming those who want to uh, only throttle their bikes. So, there could be many factors that come into play as to why somebody only throttles. And that's totally their choice, in my opinion, anyway. If you want to leave a comment in the comments below, let me know what you think about this topic. And I want to talk a little bit more about it, where reasons might be now i'm only guessing here i don't know it's it's up to the person i mean i i do it because i like to throttle but i also pedal sometimes too but i gotta say i throttle a lot more often than i pedal and it depends on what bike i'm on uh the rad rover is my favorite one to pedal if i'm going to pedal i want to pedal but you got to realize that some people for whatever reason, maybe health-wise or whatever, just can't pedal. You know, they're unable to, but they want to get out and ride a bike. And I think this is a great way to get out. If you can't pedal, you can still, as long as you can balance the bike, you can still get out there and ride just like the rest of us. And other things that may happen is somebody may be riding for a while pedaling and their bike has the throttle option, which you must have in this case to be able to throttle obviously they may have had something happen maybe they got a cramp in their leg and they're unable to pedal so they're going to throttle their way wherever they're going whether it's home or wherever so maybe they are just getting tired you know they've pedaled for a long distance and they they need a break or, as I mentioned earlier, it could be just a fact that they just want to throttle. But what's funny because you hear either the traditional bike riders that don't like electric bikes or some of them don't like electric bikes no matter what uh, the bike has to offer. And then you get others that are, like I say, they own e-bikes but they pedal their e-bikes and they get upset because somebody else is not pedaling their bike they're only throttling like i'm doing right now and i just don't understand it uh i mean i don't hear i have never heard yet now maybe this happens but i haven't heard it where a throttle only rider shames the pedal rider and says hey why are you pedaling why don't you just throttle i never hear that it's always the peddler that doesn't want to throttle for whatever reason that complains about uh the one who's only throttling so to me just get out there and enjoy your bike and who cares whether you want to pedal or throttle it's your decision if you want to pedal go ahead and pedal if you want to throttle Go ahead and throttle, and if you want to do both, awesome, do both. 
But uh, I don't think it's fair to take it out on people and criticize them just because they're throttling their bike. The bike has a throttle on it for a reason. And it's for those who want to throttle at whatever time. Another good thing about the throttle I like is when you first start riding your bike, these bikes are heavy. This bike is over 100 pounds. It's about 112 pounds. And it's hard to get going from a stop uh, to get pedaling if you're pedaling. So using the throttle can get you a good little start, you know, before you start pedaling again. And that's very helpful. And it's not just this bike that that's helpful, helpful for. That's helpful for a lot of people, you know, to get you started and also for quickly getting through a intersection that can be quite busy. And waiting for your pedals to kick in or you to get your bike up to speed, the throttle's going to help you get up there to the speed you want to get up to to get through that uh, intersection as quickly as possible because nobody that I know of, including myself, wants to sit or go really slow through an intersection. Uh, we want to get through there as quickly as possible and get out of there because that's uh, one of the most dangerous places you can be uh, on a bike or a car for that matter. So I say stop shaming people, let people enjoy their bikes, let's all get along, enjoy our bikes and have fun riding. I mean, it's awesome to get out there and ride your bike. Um, let's not worry about what the other people are doing and just worry about what we're doing and get along and enjoy our bikes. That's what I say. And if you want to leave a comment in the comments below on your opinion on this, go ahead and leave that in the comments. I'd be interested in hearing from you, whether it's you're one of the pedal only uh, people go ahead and leave a comment that's okay we, we all are entitled to our opinions but i just say sometimes we should keep our opinions maybe to ourselves and not bother the other riders just let them ride and you ride the way you want to ride as long as we're all riding and not harming someone uh, while we ride, it's good, it's fine. Bikes are awesome. Enjoy your bike. I'm going to enjoy my bikes. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.